Peace and blessings, everyone. I was just online and I was reading an article about the new super Earth that was recently discovered by astronomers out in space. If you're not familiar with it, it's a planet that's a little bit larger than the Earth, and from what they can detect, it has the ideal uh, environment that would allow for water to exist on this planet and it, it might be ha habitable habitable people could live there most likely that's what it appears right now and, and a couple of things came to mind at that red article um, one is if life is ever found out in space uh, one if it just you know some microbes some organisms um, but something that would probably be more damning to what I'm about to ask would be if intelligent beings were found on a space on another planet if life was, was found would it negate the validity of the Bible because the Bible speaks of in the, God, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and since it does not speak of there being any other planet created with beings could that be looked at and of course it would be looked at by atheists and those who would who are who already presently attack Christianity and whatnot in the Bible that that would be proof because if the Bible is written by God, then God would have mentioned that hey, I made these other people over these other planets somewhere else. You know, it's just the question, up for the debate. And like I said, I see, I can see it happening, and I don't know the reply from a Christian. I don't know. I guess it would just be that God didn't put in there for whatever reason. You know, God works in mysterious ways. I know, but moving on from that, another thing that that, that came to mind, and you know, I, I just I'm a Trekkie at heart. You know, I love Star Trek, I love Star Wars, I love the idea of traveling in space and exploring the universe, seeing what's out there, seeing the many things that we are just totally ignorant of existing out there. You know, it's just amazing to me. You know, we're so minuscule in in the in the realm of all that is. You know, there's just so much for us to ex explore and know. And you know, I would I would love to be a part of something like Star Trek to be on a uh, spaceship exploring the universe or not. But what I end end up coming and thinking about is that. In order for something true like that to happen, to come up with the technology to do such a thing, to create a a starship that could travel in space for years and years, you know, having the uh, the energy within it, propulsion systems, blah 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 blah, wouldn't that take a world effort? Does it not take? the world to come together as one for us to truly advance as a race of being doesn't, doesn't it take that with all the separation these factions of continents and countries and nations and add to that capitalism and everybody being for themselves and trying to better their city, state, and country. You know, it's a it's a doggy dog world right now. But to truly advance, we have to come together as one. We have to to truly get to the point to achieve the things that we can achieve, to be all that we can be as a race of beings and also an understanding 
in reaching a point spiritually the power within us and understand truly what we are because we are more than this body this shell you know our true nature is that spirit and our soul and that power and to get to really uh, be all that we can be uh -oh, of the army to achieve that goal that the higher ability within us it takes a coming together and working together as one and loving and caring for each other you know so we need that we have to do that do we not otherwise all we will, all we will continue to do is to survive on this planet which is we have been doing since humans have been we just been surviving and even to this day right now with all the technology we have, with all the riches of these countries, we still survive day to day, working nine to five. All we're doing is surviving on this tiny planet. We're not truly living. To truly live, we have to come together as one. And we can do great things. That's it. That's my thought. God bless. Peace and love.